guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're working on the 73 road run again and getting ready to paint the whole engine bay. So that's really awesome. Let's jump straight into this. So I'm actually mostly done prepping the engine bay, uh, sanded it down, fixed up some dents over here, welded something they cut up over here. Uh, I prepped everything underneath the car so all the frame rails are, are pretty much sanded down. So I'm going to give that a black coat of paint and then we'll go to paint the engine bay. It's, it's it's just gonna get like fillered over the black uh, on the frame rails, so it's kind of like overspray, if you will. It's gonna look a little bit factory, if you will. Guys remember it i had the whole thing grinded down and right now i actually gave it some some black paint kind of like a guide coat so we can like go over and see imperfections again and uh, you know deal with the small imperfections like over here you can probably see we have like some some pitting kind of thing going on i don't know what the hell that is but uh, you know just gonna address that real quick example and uh, grind that down and then of course i have some gold paint that hopefully should match up to the to the the, the cast paint right now so we can paint the whole entire engine bay like factory gold color you know Mopars usually have their body color in the engine bay uh, where Fords have like black and Chevy also I found some paint that uh, should match up pretty damn good so we're gonna try to to paint some gold today So next thing on the agenda is to paint the fenders, because I forgot the fenders. So I'm gonna go get some uh, small gold paint and some more clear coat so I can get the fenders or inside the fenders too. But the engine bay is done and it turned on pretty damn nice. So uh, next up is gonna, uh, gonna be throwing parts in here again. So this right here is what we need. Paint on the fenders. And it turned out pretty damn nice. With with nice smooth clear coat. Wow, that feels like sandpaper freight. It turned out pretty good. <laughs> so next step right now is definitely going to be painting the inside of these fenders, plus like the areas down here. Plus there's a few bumper brackets and grill brackets and stuff here that are still uh, old and just rusty. And also some of them have uh, this gray color. And for some reason, I think the car had like a front end, small front end damage at some point. So the front upper valence panel of water, the, the one in front of the hood, is for some reason green, as you can see right here. This looks like a Chevy Nova uh, badge, if you ask me. I don't know, why would you put that on the Roadrunner? Even though this does have some kind of cool patina, uh, then I still think I'm gonna paint it uh, gold, because it's just a weird piece. It doesn't really gonna look cool, or like, it really gonna like ruin the look of the car, or whatever, so. We're gonna paint this gold too, prep this thing right now, so let's get this done. This is the first thing. <laughs> So there you go guys, everything is officially painted on the Roadrunner, or oh, not everything, but like the major part of the engine bay is painted and completed and it, it looks freaking awesome. Uh, now I really want to buy like some new hardware because it will really set it off with like new hardware on the fenders and stuff like that, so it so looks all nice and shiny, seam already, you know. But I mean, just take a look at this, it's, it's pretty awesome. So the only thing we need now is a small piece here, a small triangle piece right here small piece right here and then we can pretty much start to put on like the grill bumper brackets from the frame out here to the bumper a lower valence a panel and we should be good but i think for right now i'm not quite sure if i'm gonna like hard mount and mount everything because it might be nice when we're gonna have the frame back in uh, put the engine back in uh, then there's more room for the engine hoist here to get further into the engine bay smaller change of bending and scratching stuff if there's not uh, as many things in the way you know more workspace and stuff so 
for now it's just gonna hang loose and a few bolts so I can uh, walk around it and be hyped, motivation. That's all I can tell you guys. If you guys have a project, sometimes just put the car a little bit back together. It, it feels so good sometimes to see it. Uh, right now actually, I just kind of threw a, a wheel in here too with a little bit of stance, fake stance on it just to you know, get an idea of where, where we're gonna be and how it's gonna look and uh, that really motivates a guy to keep working on a project. So I, I definitely, if you guys have a project, sometimes just throw a wheel on it, throw a fender back on it again so it looks like a car and stuff. It, it really helps. I mean, just seeing the car here in side profile and with like the hood open with all the nice gold paint in there, it's so good. So right now I'm gonna do one thing uh, that I wanted to do for a long time. This fender right here, as you guys probably seen, it got this big gray square water. If you remember the engine bay before, it was also silver. So it's probably because it tested the paint gun right here. Shh before actually painting like the engine bay, but uh, I'm gonna try to sand it down now. The, the proper thing would probably be using some lacquer thinner or whatever, but uh, I don't really mind getting some extra patina underneath when we are uh, wet sanding, so let's go. 2000 grit, by the way, so uh, it's really fine. Gonna take it nice and slow. And if anybody's wondering, I'm just using a soda right now, because I don't got any water. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think next up right now gonna be try to uh, eliminate some of the patina over here on this side because it doesn't really add up that we have more patina on this side than the other side. Kind of want to make it even somehow. So I'm gonna try to remove this black spot at least. Maybe one or two of the red spots up here and then the giant red spot down here. Let's give it a try. No idea what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. 